everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to a very snowy Connecticut. Now, I'm gonna say this right before we start, there's gonna be somebody in my comments that's gonna be like, why are you driving in the snow? There's salt all over the roads. And all I have to say to that is, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, we haven't driven my Civic in the snow since last year. So, um, of course, when I get home, I'm gonna wipe off the arches the best I can and the underside of the car and uh, maybe spray a little bit of hot water on there to see if we can get this stuff off. But um, yeah, we're here simply just for fun today. I really just wanted to drive in the snow and I haven't made a video like this in a while. So I figured why not? Today's the perfect time to do it. Of course, gotta be very careful on the brakes here in a wintry day, especially because it's below freezing, right? So we don't wanna skid all the way down this hill. So just very, very gentle. Oh, I swear. Please go right. Please. Yes. Okay, lovely. It's been a while since I've made a video. 11 days to be exact. Um, at least at the time of when I'm recording this. But honestly, uh, there really isn't too much behind that. Except uh, I just was experiencing a little bit of YouTube burnout. And uh, like I mentioned in the last video, I have a lot going on right now. Um, especially with my music brand and uh, for those of you who don't know that I do that so um, yeah I've just been really focusing all my attention towards that and so this channel has kind of suffered a little bit because of that but I really wanted to drive in the snow today and I knew I needed to get a video out so that's why I've gone ahead and decided to record today but um, yeah I don't know driving in the snow is an interesting thing right a lot of people think it's really dangerous which it is, um, but if you know how to control the car, uh, you should honestly be pretty fine. You just have to be aware of the conditions and what can happen in the snow, right? So you just cannot really trust braking in the snow all that much. You have to give yourself a ton of distance because once you get on the brakes, there is no friction really to stop you. So you're basically just gonna slide. So you have to be aware of that. That's why performance driving is not really recommended. You really gotta respect the snow. I think that's what I'm trying to say here is, especially with uh, my rain driving videos and stuff like that, in a car like this where you don't have any assists, you have to respect the conditions. You cannot, you know, trust yourself fully in conditions like this. Especially right now, I can honestly tell you guys, like I am feeling this car sliding everywhere. So I'm just taking it nice and easy. And it's freezing conditions as well too. So under this snow slash slush, whatever this is, there's frozen water. So you have to be very, very careful. That's why I'm going 30 miles an hour right now. Nothing crazy. But I wanted to get a video out for you guys. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of people don't drive their sports cars in the snow for obvious reasons, but you guys know me, I love driving and I wanted to make a video today, so we're driving in the snow. Gotta be very, very careful under the braking here. Very gentle. Oh, it's very foggy as well. See how slippery it is? We'll go up the big hill here, why not? We haven't been in a while. Honestly, so this next uh, two or three months is pretty big for me. I have a lot of stuff going on, so uh, I'm really, really excited for that. For those who uh, have been subscribed to the channel since last year, you guys will know that I went to, um, I can't see anything, just hope nobody's there. I went to Florida last year to go to an IndyCar race and go to the Daytona 24 hours. That was so much fun. And so I'm doing it again this year. So I'll be gone. Um, I leave January 22nd, right? So there probably won't be a whole ton of videos from January 22nd till mid-March, whenever it is that I come back. But um, yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that in advance. I'll try to maybe pre-record some stuff so you'll get some scheduled videos out later on, but I can't promise that that's gonna happen. And unfortunately, this person is turning where I wanted to go. That sucks. It's been a long time since I've been to the lake, but of course we've gotta be very, very careful here. You can see already how much slush there is on the road. It's gonna be very slippery, but that's the most fun part about this stuff. I'm actually gonna clutch in here just in case, cause we're gonna be going so slow. 
little bit of grip. The thing we have to be worried about, right, is sliding off the road because this car doesn't have any traction control. So we just want to go nice and nice and easy. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys have been up to lately. I know I haven't had a, uh, a whole ton of videos out and I love interacting with you guys and hearing what your projects are and stuff like that. So I'd love to know what you guys have been doing lately and how your cars are coming along because I've been having some conversations with you guys in the comments about your cars and your projects. So it's nice to know to see what kind of progress you guys are making and stuff like that. Um, as for me, you guys know not much has really been going on with the car. Um, I kind of just replaced the distributor and I've just been driving it as is honestly i've been driving the mercedes car way more than this one um, just because that one's very easy to just get in and drive and this one is a little bit more of a hassle to kind of drive around in conditions like this as you can see so just to keep it safe i've been driving the mercedes but every now and then like right now i still have fun in this car and i try to drive it especially in conditions like today and uh so it's just nice and easy I don't know what you're beeping about. I think that's absolutely hilarious that that person was beeping at me. I don't know what they're beeping about. They're the one on the other side of the road. So uh, let's go ahead and let's go to the left here. I haven't been in a while. Just gotta be very careful not to slide off here. We'll keep it in second gear. I'm actually gonna go to first. It's a little too slow for second. There we go. Man, the lake. It's been a while since I've been to the lake. I absolutely love this road. Uh, for all of my new subscribers, I did tell a story once. So. When I was a baby and we lived around here, my mother used to take me on this road around the lake to get me to fall asleep all the time. And so I actually didn't know that until I told her I was driving around these roads for my videos. And so I thought that was a cool story as now it's all come first full circle. And here we are driving back on these roads yet again in these snowy conditions, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is just always a lot of fun for me. So. Man, I have to say though, it is very slushy today. It's not very icy, but there's a lot of slush on the road. You can see it's wet there, but it's not ice. It's just like this weird mush. And uh, of course there is quite a bit of salt and dirt everywhere, which is unfortunate for us, but this video is just for fun and entertainment purposes. So you guys can see, um, I don't know, the Civic driving in the weather, if that's something you're interested or driving in snowy conditions, if that's something you like. Um, yeah, I just thought it was an interesting video to make today. Uh, but yeah, the car is doing okay. Not much has happened. Um, I am planning and have pretty much confirmed that I am gonna do the multi-point fuel injection swap this year. I just am gonna do that when I come back from Florida. So it may be a couple weeks. There's the lake if you guys are interested. It may be a couple weeks before I do something like that, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is coming um, late into I would say this summer is probably around when that's gonna happen. And another update is I do plan on repainting the car when that time comes. But honestly, it's handling this pretty well. That's kind of just a front wheel drive thing. Those front wheel drive cars tend to be very good in the snow. Um, and of course, if you're a rear wheel drive car, uh, you're gonna have a lot more of a difficult time. This is rather easy and plus, I think it's helping that it isn't necessarily freezing right now, which is always good for us. That means that, you know, it's not gonna be something that's um, too dangerous for us out here. It's at least manageable. But yeah, something else I wanted to note as well is just like, I think it's just, it comes with anything in life, right? If you spend all your time doing the same thing over and over again, you're eventually gonna get bored of it. So I'm sure you guys can understand that driving around doing POV videos every single day of the week does get a little boring, especially because of the area that I live in is not necessarily um, that diverse when it comes to roads. So a lot of you guys have commented on my videos to take different roads and try different routes in the videos, but I literally have to be honest with you when it comes to this, there really aren't any other roads where I live. So I kind of live in a very spiderweb like area. So that means that a lot of the roads are connected to each other, which means when I am driving on these POV videos, there isn't a whole ton of variation for different roads to drive on. So that means I'm driving a lot of the same roads over and over again because of that, because they're all just kind of interconnected with each other. And there there's just isn't that much variation where I'm from around here. So yeah, I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on 
driving in the snow techniques and stuff like that but what i can tell you from experience of living in the northeast where it does get very bad like this at times really all i have to say to you is just be careful it is so much more dangerous than driving in the rain and so that's why you see me going very slow right now especially if i do something like this you'll see like the car just wants to swing and slide around and i just move straight so you have to be very very careful when driving in the snow like this just because you need to respect the conditions like i mentioned earlier in the video because you just really never know what can happen you just it's just so unpredictable there could be so many different ice patches and whatnot um, and as long as you're comfortable and you respect the fact that you're gonna slide you'll be okay but if you're not respecting that and you're driving very performance oriented and you don't really respect what's in front of you uh, you're gonna have a hard time this person appears to be very scared of driving in the snow <laughs> <laughs> they're going like 10 miles an hour I would say this about driving in traffic with other drivers be very very careful with other drivers because um, as we just saw in front of us as I mentioned a lot of people are very scared about driving in the snow right not everyone this is something you have to understand about driving in traffic not everybody behind the wheel of a car is a car enthusiast right or someone who loves racing or loves driving so they don't know driving techniques or anything like that they're just trying to get home from work or go to the grocery store whatever it is the point being you just have to be weary and careful of other drivers because they usually aren't as comfortable in driving in these type of conditions for me i'm very comfortable in driving in the rain and in the snow i've had a lot of experience behind the wheel in these type of things so i'm not usually nervous but i understand that other people on the road usually are so just give them a lot of space when driving in this type of stuff because they usually aren't comfortable with handling a car in the snow or the rain now i do have to be very careful here we might actually get lucky because there is no cars so a little slide which is fine lots of salt and dirt here so we got to be sure to uh wash that off i'd like to hear your guys' thoughts though do you like to drive in the snow this is something i'm not actually um so sure on when it comes to my demographic i'm a big fan of driving in the snow i really enjoy it um I am fully aware though that you do have to take care of your cars pretty uh, pretty well when you're driving in the snow because of the fact that there's a lot of salt and dirt on the roads. I'm smelling something right now. That's why I paused there. I don't know what that smell is. I think it's just exhaust. I'm not sure. Maybe rubber? Rubber of rubbing on something? I'm not sure what that smell is. I'm smelling a... It's more like an oil burning smell. It's not really a... Uh, a rubber burning smell maybe just some excess oil is being burned off or something like that honestly it could be i haven't driven this car in such a long time for a long period of time that i could have just honestly forgotten what the smells are like because i've been driving that mercedes for so long now and that car doesn't have any scent to it whatsoever right there's no exhaust on it or anything like that so it's literally just it's just a normal ass car whereas this one is obviously anything but a normal car so there's all sorts of weird smells that emit from it and weird rattles so uh that could honestly just be a characteristic of this civic that i have completely forgotten about but i think that's going to do it for this video i really don't have anything else to talk about just kind of wanted to make an update video with you guys and share what's been going on especially with the civic and uh, my plans for the future with this car which is starting to act up again and uh yeah it is what it is i don't really care so uh yeah anyways that's going to be it for this video after we traverse this hill because I'm going to slide like crazy. Absolutely no grip. Just 20% throttle, try and find it. There we go. We made it up, that's good. All right, now I can get home. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're a new viewer or anything like that. Let me know your thoughts on driving in the snow and all that sort of stuff that we went over in the video. And thank you to all the new subscribers. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.